I need you all to get on your phone and demand the arrest of this man. This, this, I can't, I can't, I can't even fathom that parents allow their child to go to this kind of shows, this kind of drag shows. I mean, look at the kids, look at them, the little, little children right here, little kids. Why are they being exposed to something like this at an early stage? This is, this is uncalled for. This isn't supposed to be happening. Why are parents allowing their children to come to something like this? The fact is not about this kind of things are happening. The fact is that some people are finding it interesting to bring their children into it. There's something seems to go on about it. And this is the Idaho status. I'm going to stop now for you guys to read this on your own. Especially the lines that are, are marked with yellow. You guys can pause to read and digest um, um, what was on it. So you guys can know that this is against, this is against the law. Like I've said it before guys, this is uncalled for, this is, isn't supposed to be happening and um, the problem the problem right here is not is not the people organizing the shows, the problem right here is the parents who consent to the fact that their children need to be exposed to something like this at an early stage. It's, it's doesn't speak well for that child because um, the child is what he or she is going to be exposed to as a grow up. I mean, children at that age ought to be playing, uh, like being on, in, in, in the playing ground or learning the body alphabet, mathematics, science, stuff and that, so they can, you know, grow up to help society in one way or the other. But um, allowing children to come into something like this when they're young, when, when they're this young, I mean, they're not just this young, they're too young to be exposed to something like this. and. That parent should have that child taken away from them, in my opinion. I don't know about yours, but to be honest, I feel um, the, the, the parents ought to have that child taken away. So, so um, further harm will not be done. Further harm will not be done to that child. And it's, 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 it's crazy because very soon, this will, be, this will be the new normal. This will be the new normal. I love how we fought the new normal in 2020, but... We all know, we all know, we all know they're not going to stop there because the original people actually want this thing to go on and stay out there. You know, um, uh, Gisli Maswa uh, never gave us any names or they never allowed her to give us any names. So the people running this show are still out there and I'm pretty sure they found another way to handle their business. The, the show goes on, the show keeps going on. Uh, after, after this, do you think this is case closed? No, it's not. Disney is still out there grooming the children. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you've seen how Disney is turning out because I, I love how parents are standing up for their children um, and not allowing, and not uh, um, allowing uh, their children to be groomed by Disney. It's it's really it's really intriguing. It's good, but most most thing needs to be done. You understand? Most thing needs to be done. There are still some people out there who still need to convince that this is wrong because I don't I don't even think they need convincing because anybody anybody who allows their child to be exposed to this kind of stuff actually knows. You can't tell me you don't know. 
and there's a video I have one time where uh, where a kid was talking to someone on on video call, and and that 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 video call conversation was recorded. The kid was with his mother. The kid actually said something that that amazed me. He said the kid said the mother is trying to convince him. The mother is trying trying so hard to convince and force him to be part of the LGBTQIA community. So there must be something these parents are getting from this that they're allowing their child to do something like this at an early stage. There must be something they, they're gaining from from it. There's something you can't tell you, you can't tell me you're just allowing your your, your child's life to be destroyed for nothing is impossible. That you must be getting something from it. So guys, um that's all I have for you guys in this video. You guys can watch that video again and you guys can share it if it resonates with you so that other people can know what is going on. And that's the only way we can be able to stop this when we are on the know because some people are oblivious about this. Some people don't even know anything um, concerning this. Some, if you tell some people about this, they might tell you that no, it's something like this is not happening. But come on, it is happening. It is happening. And uh, a lot of people will not be surprised if it's actually happening in the US because a lot of crazy things have been going on in the US, US for the past decade. And because most people are not saying anything, anything. And at this stage, it's likely affecting us individually. That's why we kind of speaking out now, but it's not too late until it's too late. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Please, you guys can share if you guys if it resonates with you. And yeah, see you guys in the next.